scheduled three rounds of five minutes. Referee is Mr. Niels Burskens. You can look at, they're actually quite similar all across the board here. Donovan, the governor, literally just served us up a little slugfest for fun here. <laughs> and these two will definitely oblige each other and us. Three rounds in five minutes, you both know Touch the rules, wood. make it the good. <laughs> you know, don't, don't, don't want to curse like? it. Yeah. The MMA gods are uh, capricious at best. I wouldn't be the most surprised if Kulpra went to put Romanov on his back in the first couple of minutes, but... This is all First fast round. balls, all fast balls. Fights. Here we go, three rounds of five minutes. Romanov in the gray and orange shorts, Culper in <laughs> the I, orange. Did I tell you leg kicks and right hands? I, I told you, right? We've yeah. seen three right hands and a leg kick out of Culper. He started the fight with a beautiful leg kick, a nice overhand right. So yeah, it looks like he's got the makings of a good one, lads. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And they're gonna have fun in here. There's the right hand. Four right hands and three leg kicks from, from the big man. So fun to watch. And he feels comfortable 30 seconds in. Let's see if Culpa does try to take him down at some point. See, it's all, oh, there was a jab. He threw one. There you go, we've, uh, we've at least ascertained five, he's able. Yeah, five right hands and a jab. And trading leg kicks again, this is... Uh, Harkening back to the safer Roland fight in the uh, early prelims. Leg kick, leg kick, leg kick, yeah. leg kick. They just smash each other. Take the bone of your foot, use it as a baseball, the bone of your, of your shin, and use it as a baseball bat. Smash the meat. There's a oh. left hook right hand by the big Viking. Culp are very wary of... Um of Romanov's power, but he's, he's, he's moving away from the right hand, which is the right thing, but he's going to give him a little two-way movement every now and again. Yeah. A little bit more feints to draw a little bit more leads off Romanov and look to capitalize with his counter strikes. But apart from that, as I say, this has got the making of a very interesting fight. Just, it's in, it's in this, the bringing together these particular flavors that's making this soup so tasty. Just batter each other. Roman off a little bit um, stationary, could do with a little bit more movement. Did he target the sternum there, coach, just to track him down? Maybe, yeah, I see, it looks that way, but obviously he's looking, he's looking for that overhand right. Starting to show it a little bit too um, obvious now. Um, age now, does this creep in, does this become a factor? Where um, Kupla can, um, you know, capitalize on it, you know, because it looks like um, Romanov, like I say, is coming a little bit static and just come down again now, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. And, and Kulp has thrown quite a few of those little teep kicks, yeah. kicks to uh, Romanov's gut, and that's going to just wash the air out of you. And you know, wouldn't be the worst idea for Kulp uh, at, with two minutes remaining, minute, you know, 90 seconds remaining, to try to put Romanov on his back. You've kicked his body, yeah, there it is. Kicked his legs, you kicked his body. Now let's see if we can put him on his back. He, watch out, watch out, bro. Yeah, he got him right in the groin, but oh. look who ends up on top. Oh no, he's gonna get his back taken. It's gonna be right hand city right here. As Soon as he frees that right hand, he's gonna start throwing it. A lot of breathing, you can hear it. You can hear through the referee's headset. There's left hand city instead. Looks like he's trying to oh, no. sitting there and just happy to pound away. Uppercuts under the arm. You can't see those coming, so they kind of shake under your chin. They're unpleasant. Short left hands. Now he'll reach through, try to control the wrist, maybe. But no, goes for the neck. Yeah, it looks like he's trying to lift him and take the back a little bit, but also per perfectly happy to stay there and just wail on Romanov. Yeah, nothing wrong with just putting your hip on his and punching his face, getting the odd knee in the guts. Got one or two of those to the back of the head, but he, he adjusted. Yeah, Romanov needs to look to get out of this position because the longer he stays there, the more damage is going to be inflicted on him. Um, I think Copeland now is just, you know, softening them up, looking to get that hand under the throw, looking for the choke. Um, but um, Romanov is still in the fight. He's, yes. still, he's still there, but um, he needs to get out of this position as soon as he can. Yeah, and if you're uh, the Culpa, you want to finish in these 45 seconds, so you do want to get that neck in the next 10 or 15 on, if you, you can, but Romanov is, was just 
riding risk control there as best he could, but... Not the back, not the back of that. Yeah, he is absorbing quite a lot. But he's getting up now, he's up. He might get taken down again, but he is up. And he does. Yeah. You can see... The batter spot is open now. Nope, he's not on the chin. I can see the mouth guard free. 12 seconds, he wants to do as much damage as he can here. What's the back of that? Oh, those are rough. Yeah. And he had a couple of those in there. Yeah. Time! I think another 10, 15 seconds, that fight might have been stopped there. Definitely. But, yeah. Culpa's not thrilled, but he's also like, okay, man, I got a right minute to rest. I'm going to yeah. throw hard right hands for a minute or two after that. Yeah, and that was a draining, what, almost two minutes of Romanov just being on the floor and just eating. Even if they weren't like the biggest shots, they still yeah. hurt. They still take a little bit out of you, and there were a shed load of them raining down from Culpa. I, I, I don't know where I am. You know, got my drugs from Amsterdam. The, the plan it certainly appeared to be, and, a, and if it was, it was very smart. We're going to spend a couple minutes kicking his legs and kicking his body whenever we can. And if he slows down a little, we're gonna take him down. There, he almost got reversed there, but he was able to get the back. And this was a vicious what? couple of minutes and what got him the round and got him some damage. Okay, seconds out. Here we go, second round about to start. First one, I think we can all be in agreement okay, that Culpa won, most likely a 10-9. Yeah. yeah. Romanov was having some moments in the first couple of minutes, but but Kolpa has been managing the fight very wisely. Yeah, so. I, th I think... Um, okay, second round. Kolpa's got, got the measure of him now. Um, his confidence has grown, finishing the round in the, the, the way he did. And if you noted, um, Romanov was complaining to the referee when the round ended about the, um, the strike to the back of the head. So is that a sign of distress? Um, mm. And look, you can see he's, 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 he's showing the right hand too much. He's not setting it up. Like you say, you know, his jab's non-existent. He needs to be feeling, nudging and faint if he's looking to set that right hand up. But he's not. He's just stationary, hoping um, hoping that Pulafu stands still enough for him to deliver that right hand, which he's not. You know, so there you go again. He's just trying to throw, and that's basically his main weapon from um, Kupla can nullify that. I don't yeah. think there's much um, Roman has got. It'd be intriguing to see at what point Culpa shoots again for a takedown because he did all oh, the got away a little bit. And, gotta, that. and that's his game. He's just got to get a couple in. But then he, once they're in, Culpa now goes chest to chest, takes away the gap, and he's going to try to take him down in this sequence. If he does, of course, got a lot more time now. Four minutes instead of two, takes the back, shucks under. Uh, no. Romanov works to get this overhook and fight from there, but he's actually spending a lot of energy. Someone's opened up here. I think it is. I think it might be from, uh, I think it's Culpa probably yeah. from one of those shots that he ate with uh, Romanov coming into it. Right. They're back now, he's got the back. Go, you go ear to spine here. Kicks the, oh. kicks the foot out. Viking grabs the fence. Holding, holding. It's a smart stuff here. Just be heavy on it. Yeah. It's going to be tough to finish yeah. here with all Culpa's blood all over and making him extra. Yeah, he's slippy and lubricated. Interestingly, third time now he's called for back of the head, yet yeah. no points been taken off. So with him flat now, he could get the choke. He can also pound, although Romanov is at least partially up, but now he's back on him. You can go knee to the, um, to the, there it is. There you go, he uh, heard what you were thinking there, Robin. Yeah. That's, that's a real rough one. Well, this the is how... The Dora side does not like being kneed like that. This is how uh, Chris Fishgold uh, lost his last fight, his debut for yeah. NFL with a, the, these are big and Roman yeah. not doing anything They're about rough. it. They're rough. Yeah, I think the gas is slowly yeah. starting to leave you Those knees now. certainly, those knees certainly add. The referee's looking yeah. closely. Fourth time, not back of the head. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at some point, yeah, you have to stand them back up. That's Fifth. five times now. You have to stand them up and uh, take a point. I think Kubler should go back to using that knee to the body, yes. you know? Um, yeah. That's softening up, taking the steam out of him. Um, you know, it's a possible finisher to the fight if he gets in the right spot. Sixth time, he's told him. 
Yeah, at the minute, why? If you're Copa, why would you stop? Yeah, of course. There's no and no reason no, no reason not to. And and you can't be mad because you have to deal with what you have. There are those. I mean, that was there he elbowed him hard from underneath. You know, a surfer doesn't complain about the wave or, or spend any time wishing for a different wave. You surf what you have, and it sucks when the wave is unfair to you. But there, I mean, that is just the back of the head. Oh, but you get those knees to the body going again. Not the back, not the back of that. Yeah. That's now nine times he's he's said it. Um, I, I'm I tend to try to avoid being critical of a referee, but that's too many. You know? There you go. He's starting to get them knees working again. But, but again, yeah. like like you said, Robin, I think um, the referee needs to be a bit more stern. I mean. You know, I mean, how many times has he warned this guy hitting him to the back of the head? Yeah. When do you stop him? When do you yeah. take a point? Yeah, and stand him back up and... and Come on, extra guys. If he doesn't finish him in 50 seconds here, uh, he's gonna stand back up and have another moment, but... Copa's fought a very smart fight. Yeah, I mean, especially considering what he's what he has you know if you don't if you get the sense that i mean it's not like he continually is like i'm just gonna hit him in the back he's trying to find any angle in and he's doing a bad job he hit him there a few more times but if a ref is gonna nine times just say not the back not the back not the back it's not your fault it's you know this is the wave this is the wave that the that the sea has presented and both of you have to ride it Precisely, but as to Coach's point, if he kept on throwing the knees to Roman's yeah, it body, been over. his arms would have yeah. also had to drop down, then you can attack the head. Yeah, the referee's been a little bit too lenient for my liking. Um, Romanov still showed that he's still in the fight, because as you see, he was trying no back elbows a couple yeah. of times. But uh, those knees was having massive yeah. effect. He was taking him, take, obviously, you're scoring points. Their knees to the body, which is taking the gas out of you. And Romanov yeah. now, I think, obviously, the first yeah, yeah. two rounds. Pulov has won them, hands down. Yeah. Um, all right, he sustained the cut, but now um, Romanov has definitely got to come out gambling now. Um, should he get put back down to the ground? I think, watching the fight, um, Kuplo will stop him. Agreed, it can't be yeah. too much more. He's really dominated on the ground, and with a little bit more savvy, he probably could have finished the fight in, in the second. Final round of this fight. <laughs> Look at Roman up there. Yeah. Big Some, grin on his face. You know, we, we were talking earlier, and Coach was talking about learning and examining your game and going back and changing as a result of your experience and your self-analysis. And that's true of the, of the top fighters. That's true of the people who are trying to be the greatest. Um, but some people are just off on a weird trip, man. Like, some people are off on oh, an adventure. And uh, that's what this man's on. He's okay, on an adventure. Final they just yeah. want to ride Fight. those waves. Yeah, yeah, he's riding waves. And I see the. Yeah. the I and see I have no problem with him faking a hand, a hand uh, touch to throw a kick when a guy punches you in the back of the head 11 times. Like, and um, I see um, Kubler's caught in a nasty place across the bridge of yeah. the nose. Is which one of the one of the if to get caught in the face? That's one of the nastiest places to get caught. I know over the eye cuts can be nasty, leaking into you. But when you get caught across the bridge of the nose, it's it's a, it's a horrible cut. It's um, yeah. you know, it stays gaping. Yeah. Romanov coming out, all action again. Yeah. Thrown a few different things. Yeah. Bears come, has managed to shake off the second takedown from Kolper now. It's clear what uh, Kolper's plan is, is whether or not Romanov can stop that enough to get like the big shot he needs to win this fight. There's a lot of people watching a fight who uh, he is, you see a guy get warned by the ref nine times and they start cheering for Romanov. You know, like the audiences have a tendency to, to cheer in a situation like that. Um, but it's a hard one for Romanov to figure out how to win here. And he's, he's moved into a southpaw kind of situation. Yeah. Not sure why. His right hand is his big tool. I'm not sure if something's hurt. And where the fight is now at the actual situation is um, Romanov has got to gamble a little bit more. He's a little bit too slow in um, looking to come forward. Maybe that he, he's run out of gas. Because where it is now, um, Kupla can do this all day long, keep that distance, move, look busy doing nothing, and just, you know, win a unanimous points decision here. If he wants to now um, 
in, in, impress the crowd and go for the finish, which, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's my motto. So if he keeps the fight at this distance here, it'll suit him down to the ground. There's a lead right hand from Southpaw. Yeah, that stance, which I'm not sure if there's some, you know, biomechanical reason that uh, Romanov has switched stances. Well, I think maybe because um, uh, Kupla is constantly moving to his right, he's turned southpaw to actually try and get the overhand left now rather than the overhand right because Kupla is moving away from the overhand right. So maybe that's Walk why Romanov that. has yeah. changed stance to maybe um, get the overhand left going now. An interesting yeah. tactic, especially if he forces Colpa to start circling the other way, re-switches his stance. And and you're right there, he did uh, go lead left from South by go left first. He's a bit blasé, blasé for me, um, Romanoff. Yes, he should be going hell for leather now. He should be like, you know, leaving nothing in there, you know? Yeah. Um, going for it. He looks somewhat exhausted yeah, as well. He, yeah, he little, took a lot of abuse. A little bit of showmanship there, but... <laughs> First thing he did was try to hit the back of the head. And again, there's people cheering for him right now who would not have minded one bit. And Kupla's starting to look... Um, he's slowing down a little mm, bit yeah. now. Uh, and that's giving um, Romanoff getting his tail up a little bit. Uh, so he went for a shoot a while ago and it was from far out. And um, to me, that's a sign of exhaustion. Um, but, you know, I mean, where the fight is now, I, as I said, I think Romanoff should be gambling more, pushing the issue, looking to close the distance, maybe with a double jab, a double feint, yeah. and get in there and go hell for leather. Yeah, because Culpa's going to win otherwise, right? And he knows that. That's why he's running. Yeah, just circling on the outside. But both of these men look exhausted. And when you're tired, this is when more so you've got to keep your shape together, be more aware, because when you're tired, you tend to hands come down. As you yeah. can see now, both fighters low, hands low. Um, you know, susceptible to big shots like that, you know? Any, you know, uh, Romanoff now knows that Instead of telling him, let's stand and fight, yeah. he should be making the fight by, you know, closing the distance with fast feet, you know, looking to um, close the distance with that, as I say, that double jab step, um, that double feint step, and then going in there and just go for it. And he's doing that now, but there's only 30 seconds, 20 seconds now remaining, so he's got to run. But he's walking in dangerously with low hands so he can walk onto one himself. Yes. He's still trying. He's still He's throwing still trying. him, but... One more, one no, more. No. Still, as Coach said, a little bit laissez-faire considering he knew he needed to win that last one. But you can see how tired yeah. he is immediate, immediately to his haunches. And yeah, he did take a lot of abuse in round two, so... And he's dancing now. Yeah, but for two lads that have taken late, uh, yeah. of late replacement, that fair play to Dummy Nick, that was, um, that was a good match. And again, adding to the show itself, you know, this, this, these fights that have happened tonight, they've all been give and take fights. They've all yeah. been great give and take fights. They, um, you know, they've been, we've had a few early stoppages, yes, but um, fights like this, like you say, uh, what Robbie mentioned, that they, these lads are too late replacements, you know, I mean, that was an exciting, crowd pleasing fight. Yeah, and back and forth. And, you know, when you're both tired, one guy took. Ladies and gentlemen, your applause for these two fighters, Stanislav Romanov and Lukas Kulpa. When after three rounds of five minutes, we've counted the points and we have a winner. And the winner is the man in the red corner, Lukas Kulpa.
When also appreciation for his opponent, Stanislav Romanov. Two big men, <laughs> short notice. And they did what they came to do. They both did what they came to do. Yeah. Hulper in those first two rounds really controlled the fight.